In today's video, we're going to go over the tools that you need to remove trim. I'm putting together a full trim tutorial. Go to my channel, go to playlist, look under trim tutorials, and you'll find multiple short clips on installing, removing tools you need, coping, um, cutting your corners, figuring out your angles, so on and so forth. Short clip pinpointed to specific topics on installing trim. This way you don't have to watch a 40 minute long video or 30 minute long video. If there's anything that I missed or anything that you're having problems with, please leave it in the comments. Send me an email. I'll drop my address right here down below and we'll get that stuff covered. Hi everybody, I'm Jim Deardorff and this is Detroit DIY. Let's get started. These videos are intended for the DIYer. So guys, this is just a simple tool list and we're going to get started on that right now. The first thing you're going to need is a stud finder. You don't have to spend a ton of money on a stud finder. You can if you want, but you don't need to. The simple ones work just fine. Sometimes they misread. I use this simple guy all the time. Tells me where wires are and so on and so forth. Um, you'll probably never find a wire this low in a wall. So not much to worry about as far as electrical is concerned but you may have to check once or twice to locate your studs. We'll get into that in another video. Stud finder is a must. You're going to need some painter's tape. Doesn't matter how wide, but you'll need that for marking. You're going to need a pencil, carpenter's pencil, a number two pencil, either one. I prefer the number two because I can get a little sharper point on it. I like crisp lines when I'm doing my trim. We're going to need a tape measure because with the tape measure, once you figure out the stud layout, which direction they ran their 16 inches with your stud finder, quite normally you can locate the rest of the studs with a tape measure. We'll get into that in more detail in a different video. You're going to need a set of trim removal pry bars. Let me get a little closer so we can have a good look at these. These are our trim removal pry bars. We'll start out with this little guy. The little guy, they do not have a very slim, I mean it's slim, but it's not something that you would want to try to hammer in between the wall and the trim to get it started. This is a little bit better. And none of these would be anything that I would hammer in to try and get the trim started coming off. But once you get a gap in there, you can move to these. So we'll talk about that gap, how we create that right here in one second. So the next thing we're going to need to create that gap is a painter's tool or a multi-tool. If you haven't watched my video on these multi-tools, six and ones, eight and ones, painter's tool, watch that video. It's an amazing tool. It can do a lot for you. I will never do a trim job without one of these. These are beautiful tools and we're going to get into that in the uh, removal trim video. You're going to need a pair of side cuts. You want some with a nice little handle. Um, this is my preferred way of removing some of these stubborn nails because some of them are so close to the floor that you can't get the claw hammer in. This is the hammer I use when I'm doing trim work. It's a, it's a cheapy hammer, but it was the only one I could find at the time when my other one broke. So this guy's riding for a while. It works. And last, but far from least, because it's probably one of the most important, is a razor knife. We're going to need a razor knife to cut the trim loose from the wall. If we don't cut the trim loose from the wall, we're going to pull the drywall paper up and we're going to have a real nightmare on our hands. We'll be doing some drywall finishing and just have a mess. Razor knife is very important to cut that trim loose from the wall. The one other thing we're going to need is a shop vac. I kind of like this little guy. Uh, it's easy to tote around, easy to use. Um, I do have the bigger, you know, three gallon bucket, five gallon bucket shop vac. But this one's really nice for just cleaning up little messes and getting everything squared away. So that's all we got for this video. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, click on one of those two videos. They're going to pop up right there. And remember, head on over to my channel, playlist, trim tutorials, subscribe while you're there. 
Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.